In the next few minutes, I will show you how I create a DVD with three videos on it, with a front page menu that you can click each of the videos and launch them independently. This is the opening screen, and the first thing you need to do is add videos. I've arranged three just here. At this stage, there's nothing else I need to do on this page. I will point out one thing here, down at the bottom of the screen, you can see the amount of space on the DVD those three videos have taken. That's a standard DVD. You could also have the option, if you had high capacity DVDs, you could obviously get much more on there. Nothing else to do on this page, let's move on. Go to the top right corner to the blue menu edit button. And there are the three videos. What I'm going to do now has nothing to do with aesthetics. It's all to do with showing you different ways that you can arrange these thumbnails. Let's take Leipzig as an example. I'll edit that. I will make it a larger thumbnail by adjusting frame size. And I'll actually take the frame outside off. And just for a bit of fun, I will round the edges like so. I won't have a shadow. That's all I want to do, close that. This one, I happen to know, is Washington and Oregon in the top left corner of the USA. But it's not obvious, so I need to do something to make it more obvious. So I'm going to add a local image. I'm going to add that one. And as you can see, that's come in, that's a pure JPEG, and it happens to say Washington and Oregon. This one here is Venice. Now, what I would like here for Venice is a particular image from the video. So that's a static image from within the video, a screen grab, if you like. And that's the one I'm after there. I had 43 seconds. Now, This is only four and a half minutes long, this video. If this was a sort of a 15, 20, 30 minute video, can you imagine how tricky it would be to move through to hunt for exactly what you were after? It's bad enough when it's only four and a half minutes. I think that's pretty clunky in my view. But that's the picture I want. Let's change the frame. Uh, let's Make sure we've got a nice shadow and let's do something really silly with the shadow let's change the color to um, red and make it quite substantial around the edges and move it around a little bit like that okay uh, nothing else I want to do there so now we need to think about adding some text. So up here on the top menu bar, add text. Very tempting to double click there. Don't bother, it doesn't work. You have to go into edit and change your text in here, up at the very top. Select a font. And let's have a look at how that looks. Hmm, okay, it's all right. <laughs> it's not the best, it'll do. So now let's move that over there like that. Now we can do with the title for the whole thing. So again, add text, same idea, edit. have this in a different font and I'll make it a bit smaller now my advice to you is be very wary of this slider here for the size of the font size of the text I have found that it crashes and it typically crashes 
if you try and adjust the size before you've put your text in uh, or selected a font. So if you've selected a font and put your text in, you seem to be able to play around with this. But it's, it's a bug, so just be wary of it. I'm going to put that down there, just for now. Now these three, I can move around as I wish. I can just drag them and so forth. Um, be wary now that because you've uh, added the text on separately, if you move this one, you have to do it as two separate actions. Let's take that. You could adjust frame size in the edit there, but you can also do it by doing that. And look out here, watch the guidelines appearing. Those guidelines are not brilliant, but they are helpful. Now, you can fiddle around to your heart's content and get these where you want, um, but for the purposes of this, that's absolutely fine. So now we come to the bottom right corner, and this red button with the play icon is a play preview. So let's have a look at it. So you can see in the case of Leipzig, we've got a scrolling video from footage from the actual video itself. And it's looping around on a 15 second loop. Washington, Oregon is not moving at all because it's a static JPEG that I put in as a local image. The Venice option is not moving at all because that is a static image from the footage of the video. Let's just satisfy ourselves that each of these three videos works. Leipzig, there you are, that seems to be working now. Yeah, okay, so come out of that. Try Washington and Oregon. Yeah, that's working. And try Venice. And Venice is working as well. So. Okay, so those are the basics. In the bottom right corner, you've got this rather dramatic red and black circle that says burn DVD. Have your disc ready, and uh, it'll go away for a few minutes while it's burning. Depending on the size that you're asking to put onto the disc, it'll take a number of minutes. You'll get a success message at the end when it's completed, and that's it.